Hello, hello, hello. I just pressed the go live on my Facebook uh, profile here. Let me make sure that you can hear me before I get started today. While I'm waiting, awesome, it works. Let me know where you're coming in from. I am coming in from the great state of Texas here in the United States. I uh, would love to give you a shout out when I come back through my comments here later. So, Thank you so much for joining. My name is Cassandra, AKA the Prosperous Heart from www.prosperousheart.com. And it is the first of the new year, 2019. And what better way to ring in the new year than by learning how to leverage your time and by utilizing it to its most efficient way possible. Because let's face it, I know, I don't know about you, but there have been plenty of times in my life where I've felt like there's just not enough time in the day, right? You have so much going on and, and, you know, maybe you get really um, into something that you're doing and lose track of time and wonder where it's gone. Well, with what I'm sharing with you today, it's a free tool that you can use to help kind of organize your thought processes, organize the way that you do things so that you can actually, um, minimize that wasted time that you, that, that you may uh, have accumulate because maybe you just don't have it written down, right? Because here's the thing. If you don't have something scheduled, it's most likely not going to get done because something else is always going to come up, right? So in today's training, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the tools that I've used to start refocusing my week. Um, because, you know, as you saw in the description, I'm on a mission to empower at least 10 people to become debt free by 2020. Now, how am I going to do that? Many different ways. Um, so first of all, for those that may not know um, a lot about me, um, I have a day job. I'm a programmer. I love being able to create something from nothing that helps people. And I, I think it's just so interesting how it works. And I have so many ideas on how to apply it for my business, how to apply it for other entrepreneurs so that they can utilize it for their businesses. Um, which brings me to my second um, passion in my life is my business. I love being able to make tech things easy for entrepreneurs, whether it's by do-it-yourself services for online marketing, social media, SEO, and the like, or by coaching on that same um, opportunity. Sorry, excuse me, this is my, my buddy, Dyson, I think he wants to get down, so give me one second to detangle this him. This guy, oh no, there you go, buddy. Okay, so, um, right, so my business, I'm also an affiliate marketer, and quite simply, over the course of my life, I have learned so much about wealth management, about debt elimination, about business, online marketing, and just so many things that people either are unaware of, like Forex, which if you aren't sure what that is, every Sunday I'm going to be doing some training uh, and uh, <laughs> training on Forex about that as well. But just things people have never heard about because they haven't been searching or they haven't been around the, or the right people to, to even learn about it, right? And there's so many other things that I'll be sharing throughout the year, but that's why I am doing this video today. One, to show you how to utilize tech and make it easy so that it works for you. And two, to give you kind of a, a, a freebie if you were. So if you want this template uh, for um, your organization of what you need to do, just let me know down below or send me a message. So let me go ahead, stop talking right now and go ahead and start with this training. All right, so. Hey, thanks so much for joining. Give me one second to share my screen here. Make sure there's no questions so far. Uh, profile here, let me make sure Perfect, no questions. Awesome. All right, so what do you see here? So this is a Google Doc that I created, and I'm going to walk you through how to make this if you, if you want to learn how to make it or utilize these tricks for a future document. So as you can see here, I actually have it started at 5 a.m. and my day is intentionally um, meant to start at 6.30. It has not been, but we're going to, or rather I'm going to be making changes so that I can wake up earlier so that I can get more out of my day. So the first step, right, is making sure that you know when you want to do things, when you, when you for sure are going to be at least in bed trying to sleep, when you have your work time, right? So from nine to six, is my traditional uh, day job hours. Um, on average, it's about 15 minutes for travel, so I've added that in as well. You can see that I have family time in, meditation, and then obviously, obviously sleep. So from here, you then have the opportunity to determine when you're going to work on your business, when you're gonna work on reading, whatever it is that is on your heart to to start creating, right? Because you can, you can 
Let's say, um, um, oh, wow, I'm so excited. I, I'm falling over my words. You have the ability to base, to create success in anything that you want to do. It just depends on how you prioritize things and how, how you prioritize things and how much time you devote to working on it. You want to get there fast? Spend more time on it. Make sure you have the right mentors to help guide you around pitfalls and avoid things that are going to waste your time, right? It all depends on what is important to you and how fast you want to get there. So with this, what I decided to do was um, I've got several major calendars to let me know what's going on, you know, three weeks in advance, if I'm needing to do a sales sprint, if I have a particular call I need to attend. And I put that all in my calendars. And then from here, this is where I break it down to each day. <clears throat> um, let me go ahead and show you some stuff here. So this is my current week. Um, as you can see, I've got my day job stuff, I have family time, and then I have 15 minute increments of things that I want to get done, whether it's a particular call, um, whether it's a training, a particular tr type of training that I wanted to take. And so that's what I decided to do with this template here. I left it open because not everyone's going to have the same um, choice and required family time um, when they want to do business. But this is just, I guess, my my expected average work week for somebody, right? At least an, an hour of family time for dinner and things like that and, and the like. So how do I make this? So first of all, the first thing I wanted to share is how to make those colored um, boxes. It's pretty simple. It's just like Excel. So if you want to change the color of this box, you would come here to where it shows like a paint bucket and you would choose your color. Now, if you wanted the font to be a different color, you would just choose the one next to it for text color and change it there. So that's how I chose the colors for these boxes. And the reason why I chose the particular colors, they had something um, correlating to what it is. So sleep, I think of blue, I think of dreamy, I think of light, right? <clears throat> I think of healing. Travel, I put it in green because travel can be prosperous for you. It's prosperous for your soul when you're visiting new places, but it might also be um, financially consuming if you're if you're traveling a lot. I put work in red because this is the have to do's, right? This is the, the baseline of getting my bills paid. This is for me to be able to contribute to my goal of helping women in the tech field, right? And then again, the yellow was just for, for me, for whatever I wanted. And when I'm doing my business things, I do those in green. Now you can use any color scheme you want. This is just what I do. And I go all the way to 12 a.m. <clears throat> so that was the first one, how to change those cells. Now, as you can see, as I scroll up and down, those top three rows stay in place. And if I scroll left to right, that far left column stays in place. So how do I do that? So let me go ahead and open up a new sheet here. And just do some random stuff here. So let's say that for whatever reason, you wanted these two columns here to be frozen, which means that no matter how far left or right you go, they are always on the screen. <clears throat> you can do that by going to data, I'm sorry, view, freeze, and then you would choose your columns, one column, two column, up to a certain column, or no columns. So if you wanted the first two, you can see that that gray line showed up right here, which means it's frozen there. So again, if I were to scroll over, you can see that the column headers changed and the data was removed. But if I move to the left, it shows up again. So that's what happens when you freeze the columns. If you freeze, excuse me, Yes, it freeze the columns. If you want to freeze the rows, so let's say that you only had this first row um, as your header, you'd go back to view, freeze, one row, or up to a number of rows that you're looking to do. So again, there's the gray line that's horizontal, and that's where the freeze happens. <clears throat> so as you can see, it only shows the time on the left side and the top three here. So what are these top three? We have topic. So for those that are in business and looking to have what's called a content creation schedule, this would allow you to actually plan that out. So obviously if you're new to business, especially if you're in network marketing or affiliate marketing, perhaps you don't quite have a lot of content out already. I wouldn't, 
it is highly suggested that you go live every day because that's going to help benefit you with what's called an algorithm, at least with Facebook um, and, and YouTube, I'm sure other ones as well. But a lot of times that's hard for most people, especially when they're first getting started and they're trying to learn everything at once, right? They go into information overload. So you can do these videos every day or this content every day, whether it's a, an image or a video or whatnot. But if you know what you want to learn, you can either learn it on this day and then do the other things you need to do. And then the topic for the Tuesday might be what you want to do that day. So if we go back to mine, right, today is the first. So today I'm talking about social media marketing and I'm sharing with you how to use a little bit of how to use Google Forms, or excuse me, Google Sheets and how I'm creating a intentional daily planner to help me stay on topic, to help me do more with the same amount of time that I've had and really minimize my wasted time. So <clears throat> social media is today. Um, I'm doing video creation right now. Um, I'm going to be learning some more about uh, recruitment and prospecting for my business, not necessarily for the network marketing side of things because I am a network marketer, but for my actual business for done, do it for your, do it done for you services, coaching on online marketing and things like that. So again, you can learn one day and then the next day do the actual content creation. You can do it all in the same day. Again, it depends on your goals and what time you have during the day and how much you actually expect it to take. Because here's the thing, you might expect it to take only 15 minutes, but maybe it takes 45. So if you have it scheduled out, you can go, okay, I have my, you know, um, my watch to tell me to keep me on track. I didn't, I wasn't able to complete it today. So now I have to make time for it tomorrow. Right. So, it, so it allows you to really get a grasp on how long it takes you as well as to, um, be better at managing your time. So I showed you how to create your scrollable header and data on the left. I showed you how to distinguish the different sections of time, right? Why I have this colored and how to change those. Um, the last thing I wanted to share is kind of a bonus because I had to actually look this up because I, I, I wanted to minimize the time I was spending on this, right? Because creating the spreadsheet, while it is going to be beneficial for me in the long run, it is not a um, income producing activity. But I'm sharing this with you so that in the future, if you ever need this uh, um, trick, then you have it in your repertoire or whatever. So that is how to make these um, time frames incremented. So what do I mean by that? You can see on the left here that they go up by 15 minutes. So 6 o'clock, 6.15, 6.30, 6.45. Maybe you need to create an itinerary for maybe you're, you're speaking, um, you're, you're, you're not speaking, you're organizing an event and you have you know, 30 minute time slots for speakers. So you want to have those go by 30 minutes. Well, here's how you would do that. So first, um, you might have maybe date on one column, time in another, and let's say that it was 1-1-2019, and the start time of your particular conference was maybe at nine o'clock, so nine o'clock. Well, first of all, this, is, this shows up here as um, 9 a.m., which is what we wanted, but maybe you actually want this to be shown a.m., p.m., so it's highly clear about what's going on. Here's how you do that. So up here, in this section right here, this is where you would actually change the formatting of the particular cells. So I'm gonna click on this more formats and go to date time. And actually, I'm not gonna choose that because I don't want it to be with seconds, I just want minutes. So I'm gonna go to more formats, more date and time formats, and actually custom number format. So I'm gonna choose this one and it has our in quotes to show that it's going to be a string, colon, minutes, a quote with a space, and then show with it's AM or PM. So as you can, when I click apply, you'll see what it does. Boom, it shows that it's now 9 AM. <clears throat> so this cell is showing that, it, that it's gonna be 9 AM. So let's say that you want to increment them, like I said, by 30 minutes. You would actually would do what's called a formula in here. And let me make sure there's no questions before I move on. I know sometimes they pop up. Hey, oh, oh I hope I pronounced this right. Oh, Ojie, Ojaya, Ojaya, Ojaya. I hope I said that right. Thanks very much for joining me today. So how do you increment this by 30 minutes? You would, you would add a formula. This is something that you can also do in Excel and it starts with the equal sign. So equal, you're gonna click on the prior cell so that it shows the letter and the number. So B, right? 
So column B, row two. And then you're going to do plus because you're adding time to it. Time. So this is going to convert some numbers into this time frame. And then you have an open and closed parentheses. Now, in, in programming, right, this is a programming lesson for you, these parentheses are basically saying call the time function. And you're going to have what's called input parameters in order to make this function run. Now, this one has three parameters. So it's going to have hours, minutes, and we're going to do 30 because we want this to be 30 minute increments, and then seconds. So once I click Enter, you can see that it's now incremented by 30, 9 a.m., 9.30. And if you want to keep going, you highlight the one that shows that func formula, right? This one right here. So you highlight that's, oop. You highlight that cell that you just had the formula in, right? This one. And then you hover over the, this, the box where until it becomes a cross and then drag it down and then now you have your 30 minute increments in just a snap, right? So that's all I wanted to share with you today on this particular tool. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Cassandra, and if you got value from this, please like this video, share it with your friends if you think they would benefit from it today. And if you wanna know more, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and tap that live, or if you're on YouTube when I repurpose this, be sure to subscribe for more trainings like this. Now, later on this month, January 2019, I am going to be doing a webinar on <clears throat> how to maximize more time management for your business, give you some tips and tools uh, in order to help you not only, not only generate leads, but move them through your funnel process. So if that sounds like something you'd want more information on, definitely leave a comment down below. Send me a message that I can get you on my messenger, excuse me, Facebook messenger bot list. That way you are notified when it's available. And that's it. Oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> I am actually opening the doors to my Facebook coaching program. So if what I've shared with you today sparked your interest, you want to learn how you can either create more wealth or focus more on your business, definitely reach out to me and let's see if that's a fit for you. So again, thanks so much for watching. My name is Cassandra, aka The Prosperous Heart from www.prosperousheart.com. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one.